Hello YouTube, this is Reno Dan. I'm gonna be commentating on this beautiful race. This is JPH's race right here, not mine. They're little KOs. Those little kids right there probably weigh like 40 pounds. Jason's like a full-size man. And he is on an XR100 Honda. It's very tired engine. We race against each other all the time. He's really good. He gets the whole shot. Here he comes, and he got taken on the outside. Here we go, going into the bank turn, one of my favorite turns. And that kid can ride. So I'm gonna do my best. I know commentating's kinda hard, so if I get kinda quiet, cause I'm like, oh, this is good racing right here. I don't know how commentators can do this. But yeah, Jason's awesome. It's amazing what he can do in a little 100. The kid right there is like, I think he's like on a 150 or a one, I think it's like a 150. And like I said, the kid only probably weighs like 40 pounds or something. He's like 9 or 10 years old. So, but he is good. You can tell he can have a good lean angle and he's off the bike pretty well. One of the things I love about watching Jason ride, his lines are so tight. He really shuts the door down on everybody trying to get up behind him. So it's really awesome. And they're so close. I mean, you can just like almost feel like he's reeling him in. And the kid takes off. Because the kid weighs like 40 pounds. And there he goes. But Jason's such a competitor, he's just not giving up yet. He's coming around the bank turn. And that kid is just trying to get elbow down. All right. Coming down to the next turn over here, which is like one of my favorite turns right here too. It's a pretty good turn. And then we're going into the hairpin, which a lot of people crashed. I call it the bone collector because people just crash there and get broke. Or the fairing collector. This turn right here, someone got crashed on this one too and actually got hurt a couple times. It's one of the high speed turns. As you can see, Jason's having a hard time reeling him in, but it's all right. Coming to the double apex beautifully. Coming around. You know, nice little tight lines shutting the door. Look at that. No one can get around him. There's a guy behind him. If we had a rear cam, I can show you that, but we're still getting more cameras. So here he comes. Coming around. Nice and tight on the apex. Going through the hairpin. Bam. And that kid is just gone. And this 100 right here is just screaming. It's a lot of fun watching Jason race too. I was on the spectators. Come to the double apex again. It's just smooth. See how Jason's hitting on the lines and stuff? The guy's good. JPH suspension. Alright, so we're about to hit that double apex. I mean, sorry, we're about to hit the hairpin again. I'm not going to redo this because it's a long video and commentating is really difficult. That right there is a Honda Grom. Yes, sir. They race with you guys, too. And he just dogged him up. Coming around. Here's the double apex. Properly the way it's supposed to be. Turn two and three. Coming around turn four. Into the bank turn, which doesn't look very banked on the camera, but believe me, it is. This turn right here can get kind of hairy because on the outside of the turn, there's no man's land. There's a place you don't want to be, for sure. And for some reason, this hairpin right here is just nasty. But JPH does a really good job on handling it well. Coming around nice and tight. He says he likes to get on the inside of the track so you're not losing so much yardage going on the outside, which makes sense. Comes around, straightens out. It's a double apex beautifully, and they're about to pass into the Grom, which, no surprise there. And the fact that Jason is really good at passing, look at that. Most people wouldn't even attempt at that. He just overtook him and went past. Excellent pass, Jason. Fantasticals. All right, coming around. Here we go in the hairpin again. Yep, kiss the apex, gone. Look how much room he had left on the track, too. That was a really good turn right there. Coming around in the inside straight away and the kid's just flying can't catch him can't reel him in must be nice weighing 30 pounds coming around the inside and he screws up and i watched that and we talked about this afterwards and he didn't have his tire pressure right 
Now, for all you guys who don't race, tire pressure is very important. You just saw what happened. He went from second to third. Yep, yep, yep. Not good to have your tire pressure off. So, lesson learned. And the problem was is that he had too much sliding. Yeah, it was just too inflated. So he needed to add a little bit less air. So I think that's right. I gotta ask him correctly, but I think that's I think he had too much air in it. Coming around. Just massive straightaway. He likes to take the inside. Double apex nice and tight. Trying to defend third place, which he is in third place. He got third place on this race because we're about to end this race soon. And that's all it takes is one mistake. But to Jason's credit, which I am very impressed by him, running off the road, he still was able to keep third place. Excellent. And there was like 14 guys on this lineup. It was massive. A lot of Groms out there. All right, the white flag means this is the last lap. Here we go. So all Jason has to do is keep his cool and finish up strong. And that's what racing is, folks. It's just a whole bunch of playing mental chess and doing your best. And you never know how you're gonna end up, even if you get the whole shot like Jason did. All right, coming around, we're about to enter the, the dreaded hairpin. Nails it, back on gas hard. Here he goes. About to pass this guy right here again, because Jason's a passing machine. And bam, flags up, third place. Congratulations, Jason. Awesome race. Thanks for watching. My name is Rhino Dan. That was from Jason from JPH Suspension. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did my best commentating. Thank you for watching.